and welcome to Economics with Illy. That's me, and I am Illy. My plan with these videos is to help you pass economics so you can stop stressing, it's not that hard. In this short video, we are going to do the production possibility curve, short PPC, production possibility curve. It's not too complicated, it's just about choices. So I'm going to use the example of a cocktail party where we are going to have two ingredients. So here's a little martini glass with a cocktail, and there's the cute little umbrella that usually goes with cocktails. Okay, so let's say to make this cocktail we need rum and we need vodka. So those are our two resources. We plot the one resource on this axis, and we plot the other resource on this axis. Okay, now, as is true in life, we can't have everything. So let's say we can only afford to buy, if we just buy vodka, we can only afford to buy, let's say, 10 bottles. And let's say if we only buy rum, we can afford to buy maybe six bottles, right? I'm going to make this a bit smaller, six as well. Okay, so let's say with the vodka, we can afford six bottles of vodka or six bottles of rum. So our production possibility curve runs from our one max to our other max. There we go, six and six. Now on this curve, we can choose any combination. So we can go over there and say we are going to buy five bottles of vodka and two bottles of rum. Or we can go all the way up there and say we're going to buy five bottles of rum And it looks like a three, two, let's make it two. Okay, so the production possibility curve says that on this line, we are maximizing our possibilities. So this is an efficient line. We can choose to buy somewhere over there, for example, two bottles of vodka and two bottles of rum, but it's not uh, optimal, so we could, do a better job at it. We could go on this line and choose to buy two bottles of rum and five bottles of vodka. The reason why we can only do six and six is because of restraints, constraints. Okay, it's scarcity, it's the whole thing in economics where uh, there's limited resources and you can't have everything. So you have to make choices. You have to choose between the one or the other. But on this line, it is an optimal choice, so we like making the most of our of our money. As soon as we go inside the curve, so there's the curve. As soon as we go inside the curve, we are not really maximizing the amount of cocktails we'd be able to make. So it's possible, but it's not optimal. Outside the curve, it's all impossible. Okay, we can't afford it. So if we had to go, let's say, over there and try and buy six bottles of rum and six bottles of vodka. We can't do that. We can't afford that. That is not an option for us. So everywhere on this side of the curve, it's impossible. It's not an option we can choose. But it is possible for this line to, for the production possibility curve to move out. So let's say there's a special on rum. Rum is now cheaper and we can buy more bottles of rum. So let's say this can go up to around eight. This means that we could have a new curve due to external forces that runs like that. This will only happen because of outside forces. Another thing that they like to use in exams is uh, due to technolo technological improvements. So let's say our budget was a thousand rand. And with that thousand rand, we could buy a maximum of six vodka or six rum. And there's our curve, and we have to choose the combination of how many vodkas and how many rums. Now, what could happen is something external could increase our budget, which in the exam they will call an um, increase in technology. This means that our total possibility curve is going to move out because we have more options and we can use our resources more effectively. So the whole curve can move out to let's say 10 and 10. This means that we can now choose anywhere 
inside this curve. For example, if we take the dot over there, 8 and 6. Outside of this line now becomes impossible. Inside of this line becomes possible but not optimum. And on this line, that is the most efficient uh, possibility that we have. Keep in mind that on the production possibility curve, every single spot is efficient, but we still need to choose. So if we move from this spot where we, for example, have 10 bottles of vodka and two bottles of rum to that spot where we only have six bottles of vodka, we are sacrificing four bottles of vodka to move from this point to that point. And that sacrifice, in order to have more rum, that is called uh, what is that in English? Sacrifice. Wow, I can't think of it now. Hmm. It's when you give something up. So you make a choice and your best alternative choice, the, 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 the item that which you did not choose, but you would have chosen, the second best. Opportunity cost. That's the word I'm looking for. Opportunity cost. Okay, so if we go from this dot, we had 10 and 2, to that dot, you're sacrificing four bottles of vodka. So four bottles of vodka would have been your opportunity cost. All right, that's the production possibility curve. Uh, it was in assignment one. It'll probably be in assignment two of the exams. I haven't checked. Um, these videos are for free and is very much unofficial and not related to the university at all. But I'm hoping that it helps you. And if you like it, please comment so that I can make some more. And if you don't understand, just let me know, I'll make another one. Okay, good luck. Bye.